Welcome to episode one of the Wooly Wolverine podcast. This is a podcast about knitting. I'll be your host, my name is Laura. Today's date is January 20th, 2017. Um, so as I said, my name is Laura and I'll get all the admin stuff out of the way first. So you can find me um, on Instagram at Wooly Wolverine. You can find me on Ravelry as Wolverine. It's spelled slightly differently, so I will put it on the screen here if I remember, but it will be linked in the description box down below, and there's also show notes for this podcast on woollywolverine.wordpress.com. Um, I'm going to set up a Ravelry group. Um, I have forgot to do it. I meant to do it before I start recording. However, I will put that in the show notes and down below as well. So if you'd like to come over and have a bit of a chat over there, I'd really, really appreciate it and enjoy that. Um, so let's get down to it. So my name is Laura. Um, I live in Ireland in a place called Kildare. Um, it's about an hour outside Dublin, slightly less depending on traffic. Um, about an hour outside Dublin. Um, I live there with my parents and my two sisters and our cat, Neo. Um, uh, I am originally from Dublin, but I moved to Kildare when I was younger, a good bit younger. I would have been about um, 10. So it, I've been here most of my life, but yeah, majority. Um, so I suppose I will tell you about my knitting history. So I learned to knit when I was in school. When I was in primary school, so when I was about seven or eight, um, and I remember picking up a giant ball of um, royal blue, kind of electric, bright blue, it's huge, so I can only assume it was acrylic and needles, and learning to knit plain garter um, in school. I remember making a quite narrow, um, long scarf, I suppose, and um, just straight garter up and down. Um, and my love of knitting didn't really ignite there. You'll be surprised to hear. Um, so I put it down. Um, I picked back the picked the needles back up when I was about fourteen or fifteen. My granny passed away, and I took her um, knitting supplies. So there was bits of yarn, um, really old retro 80s patterns um, and loads and loads of needles. Um, so with that there was a kind of an 80s book, I think it was called Kids Knits with a Z. And um, in that there were real simple basic patterns for children. Um, kind of to teach children how to knit. So in that I learned how to purl and I remember making one solitary mitten um, which was knit flat and then seamed together um, and I made it um, in a bright fuchsia in the cuff and a lilac colour for the rest of the mitt um, and it's the kind of same colour as my nails um, and it it was terrible. Um, there was like, I didn't know how to weave an end, so there were strings, and I just lost interest. I was a rebellious teenager, I suppose, so I didn't keep it up. Um, so then, how have we got to this point? Well, I suppose it kind of all started last year. Um, my, me and my boyfriend Dave, we were, um, we took a drive one of the weekends down to Galway, um, which is in the west of Ireland, and we just had a look around in one of the shops, and we're in a small shop called Tiger, um, I think they're in a lot of countries, uh, they're kind of like a knick-knack shop, they have all sorts, like, they have, they had needle, uh, knitting needles and wool, and then they had, beside that were like egg cups, and... There's stationery and sweets and all sorts, all sorts in the shop. So when I was there, I picked up a ball of a ball of wool and needles, which I have here. Well, I don't have the wool. 
um, in a ball but the needles were these blue long four millimeter um, and they're all bent and warped now I've lost one um, and they're like metal but they're coated and the coatings are coming off and affecting all my wool so I re I have upgraded these needles but I was using these and I picked up um, this wool here I don't know if you can see kind of looks more yeah it's better kind of color when it's closer to my face so it's a kind of green variegated yellow and I just kind of picked it up and practiced different stitches so I knitted a couple squares of stockinette and um, a couple garter just and um, this ribbing section I didn't make anything out of it but I could probably like I don't know make a little carry on seam up I don't know there's like mistakes in it and junk but it's it's not actually bad quality wool for where it came from and um, it's quite soft and squishy but that's probably the ribbing um but this is basically what started this whole knitting adventure um which I have gone very deep down the rabbit hole now I would say in that short amount of time um so uh I suppose I kind of started picking up bits and bobs and um, I was looking up place, uh, different shops kind of where I could pick up yarn in Dublin um, and I found a shop in uh, called This Is Knit it's uh, in Paris Court Town Centre a lot of you probably won't know where that is but it's um, a yarn shop that I've gone to a good few times now um, and picked up yarn um, I picked up different skeins for different projects. I made my sisters uh, a hat, I made my boyfriend a scarf. I did a lot of gift knitting um, in for the first few months so I don't really have any fish, finished objects um, that I can show you from when I started knitting. Um, but that was just kind of, it was kind of a hobby then. I didn't get too in depth in it. Um, and then I decided to knit some presents for people for Christmas so um, it was taking me ages to get projects finished so that's when I kind of stumbled across podcasts so I went onto YouTube and looked up videos for how to knit faster so at this stage I was a thrower um, or an English knitter I think it's called um, and I just wanted to try and get my speed up a little bit so I could get more done so I found a video by Very Pink Knits um, which kind of outlined how she switched from being a thrower to a flicker so I practiced flicking and now I'm pretty good at f I, I flick when I'm knitting and um, purling seems to take longer so I generally throw when I'm purling but I'm getting a bit quicker Um, so with that um. I kind of looked at her videos for techniques and then also I seen um, as a suggested video a video for um, Mina Phillip who is the knitting expat and it was just a video showing how it was just how I knit and I just clicked onto that and she was just demonstrating how she knits and she's a flicker as well I'm sure everyone knows her um, she's uh so she was and then i just happened to click onto that and then an episode of her podcast um and that's about two hours later or six hours later even 24 hours later i'd watched 17 episodes of her back catalogue and um, i think i'm up to date now um and then it just spiraled i start watching podcasts of of who she was recommending so I start watching Little Bobbins and um, Molly in Homespun House and The Grocery Girls, Kristen in Yarngasm and the Hey Sister podcast. Uh, oh, I've, I've watched, I have so many now on the go that it's hard to keep up with all the new episodes. There was a day there on Wednesday where there was like a, or I think it was Wednesday, maybe Thursday. No, I think it was Wednesday. Um, all uh so many episodes came out it was a great day 
but I just sat down in in my room here and just knit and had my podcasts open and it was great. Um, so yeah, I it was the knitting expat that kind of got me on to podcasts and then as well Ravelry. I didn't know Ravelry before then, so now um, that I know Ravelry and I know um, about podcasts, I thought, uh, yeah, that's something that I'd like to get involved in, and um, just so I can get to know more of the community, the knitting community better because it's amazing. I love the knitting community. Everyone is just so friendly and so generous and just so happy and eager to help each other and just talk about our love of knitting. So um, that's what I wanted to do. So I decided to start this podcast. So I suppose I'll move on to some knitting stuff. So um, I'll start with my works in progress. I have two. Um, I have a pair of socks on the needles at the moment. Um, these are for um, a gift. I'm really bad. I don't. Oh, sugar. The needles after coming out. I was working on the heel. Um, so here they are. There's one. The lighting is really bad. Let's see, is that better? So I'm on the heel. I'm using the Fish Lips Kiss Heel, um, which is a pattern by Socks Therapist. Um, it's a short row heel and it's amazing. I really, really like it. Um, I haven't, uh, I haven't, I've only knit one other pair of socks and I did a German short row heel on them. Um, and I'm enjoying the, the Fish Lips Kiss Heel even more than that, which I had enjoyed the German short row heel, but I'm enjoying this one even more. And the fact that the needle has fallen out is making me uneasy, so I'm just going to pause this and pick up my stitches and I'll be back with you in a minute. Sorry about that. Um, I would have, wouldn't have been able to concentrate if I had left them off the needles. Um, <laughs> so I've just picked up the stitches. So um, here's the socks. Oh, I'll keep it blowing out any time I show it. Um, one second. I think that's a bit better. Um, so here they are. These are just turned the heel um, on one and I'm just turning the heel on the second. So they are Crazy Zauber Ball. Um, they are in the Paws and Blau. Blau? Blue? Blue? It's a German name. Paws and Blau. Blue, I assume. Um, it, I'm knitting them on the 2.5 Haya Haya's, um, I'm just doing a plain vanilla pattern, um, with the Fish Lips Kiss Heel, I guess I've already, but, um, I'm doing them, uh, two at a time, cuffed down, and here is the wool in balls, really messy, I don't have a ball winder, I have ordered one, um, but the the zebra ball kind of comes in nice kind of balls and I just kind of hand wound and it's kind of come loose. I was doing a centre pole ball um, I hand wound it um, into 50 skeins, 50 gram skeins each. Um, so yeah, there are my socks. Um, so I should, I'll finish the heel today at least and then get started on the foot. And I just do a rounded toe um, and I should be, cast them off and be good to go. Um, so my second work in progress is the uh, Cozy Schlanket by Mina Phillip, who is the knitting expat, I think I said that again already, but um, yeah, so she is hosting a mystery knit along for the pattern that she has drawn up for the Cozy Schlanket. Uh, so I'm taking part in that. I'm currently um, just about finished Clue 2. Um, clue 3 has been released and I believe Clue, floor, clue 4 is due on Sunday. Um, so if you do not want to see this pattern, if you're taking part or planning on taking part, um, look away. Um, I will show you my version. I won't go into too much detail about the pattern. 
Um, but uh, if you're interested in looking, here it is. So I'm on clue two. Oh, it's kind of awkward. It's gone real big now. Um, so here it is. Yeah. So I'm just about to move on to clue three. Um, so yeah, I will show you my yarn. You can look back if you want to see my yarn. So it's a three color shawl. Um, I'm using Cascade 220 um, and I'm doing it in these three colors. Ooh. Yeah, so the purple is mystic purple. It's kind of a heathered purple. Um, this is aspen grey, I think, or aspen heather. And this is goldenrod. Yeah, so there are my three colours. I'm pretty happy with them. Um, I'm knitting it on Knit Pro Zing's 5mm. Uh, I think the pattern calls for a 5.5, but I just didn't really like the fabric I was getting with that. Um, so I think it's supposed to be quite a big shawl anyway, so even going down needle size, if it ends up being a bit smaller, it won't be the worst. It'll be okay, it'll still be quite big and cosy. Um, it's a worsted weight to iron weight shawl, so it'll be nice and snuggly, um, which is good for Ireland as it is quite cold. Not freezing, freezing cold, but it is cold enough. Um, so they are my current works in progress. Um, we will move on to finished objects. So, as I said, I am a gift knitter, so I don't really have that many finished objects to show you. My most recent finished object is a pair of socks, which I knit for the Little Bobbins Christmas Eve cast on. Um, they're my first pair of socks that I knit, so I'm really, really proud of myself and delighted with them. And I'll just grab them here. So, um, I knit these out of here they are. I don't know if this the lighting is gonna show them up very well. Diddly 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 diddly. Um so I knit the pebble socks by Mina Phillip. As you can see I really like Mina Phillip. I haven't got sock blockers so I'm just gonna put them in my hand. Um so I knit the pebble socks by Mina Phillip. Um, this is a nice texture. This is quite a variegated yarn, so it just look. You see the texture, so you can see the difference between there's the there's the stockinette, and there's the pattern. So this is uh, a yarn by Ellie and Ada or Ada Ellie and Ada. I think it might be. Um, She's an Irish um, indie dyer um, based in Mead. Her name's Laura as well, um, and I love her yarns. This is the Fantas Majorical Phantasmagorical colorway, I think it's called. I'll link it. I'll have it in my show notes. Um, I can't pronounce it. Um, so yeah, I knit these two at a time. Pebble Be or Pebble Beach. Pebble Socks, um, which is part of Mina's Beyond Vanilla um, Beyond Vanilla pattern collection. It was the first one in the collection, I believe. Um, and yeah, I'm really, really happy with them. They're a bit small and a bit tight, and the heels are a little bit holy, but they're great, grand for house socks. Um, and I learned a lot. So I'll know now to knit on or to cast on a couple more stitches. I did 56 um, stitches, so I'll probably move up to 60 or 64. Dependent. If I was doing, so I knit these on 2.5 millimeter high highs. I have a, a set of two millimeter uh, Knit Pro Symphonies. Um, if I was knitting on them, I'd probably go to 64. But if I was knitting a pair on the 2.5s, I'd probably go with 60 stitch count. But I'm really happy with them and I'm really happy with how the Fishlips Kiss heel is turning out in my works in progress. Um, 
so I would probably say that I would do the fish lips kiss heel with slightly more stitches so I'm learning more about my socks so that's always a plus um, so they're kind of the only, that's the only finished objects I have at the moment um, hopefully I'll have more next time um, so I will move on to the yarny goodness segment which is uh, just a segment I'm going to go through kind of yarns that I've gotten most recently um, I have them all here in front of me. So, um, for Christmas, my mammy got me some yarn. She got me some Superwash um, Pure Wool DK Weight 100% um, Wool uh, Signet, I believe it's called. Yeah, Signet Superwash. Um, and she got, it's this purple and cream. The purple is showing up much darker than it kind of is yeah it's kind of purpley yeah so it's shade 299 doesn't have a name and this is cream so these two together so she got me six balls of this it's 50 gram ball 50 gram ball 104 meters um, and six of this so um, I don't, I'm not mad on these colours together, I think they're okay, and I don't know what I'd knit out of it. Any ideas? Throw it in the comments below. I've got, so, 600, I've got 1200, no, 300, 600, 600 metres of this. Yeah. No. Why can't I count? Six balls of this, six balls of this, 1200. I've got 1200 meters. But what I did do was I made a purchase with Fine Fish Yarns, who is another Irish dyer, who is uh, Terry. And I got some of her uh, DK, Core DK, um, in the Without You colorway. And this is 7525 Merino Nylon, 225 meters per 100 grams. This is, I love this yarn. It's kind of this cream with uh, purple and kind of goldy kind of tones in it. Um, so I was thinking these three do go together quite nicely. But I have no clue what I would do with it. So if you have any ideas, um, you can let me know below or in the Ravelry group. I'm going to have an episode thread so you can just comment in there. Um, so while I was making the order with Fine Fish Yarns for that, I also picked up some more sock yarn. So here it is. This is the uh, Strawberry Shortcake colorway. Um, it's kind of a geo set, so this is the kind of purpley blue color for um, contrasting heels uh, heels and toes sorry um, so this is kind of a muted pink kind of colour and it has like darker speckles in it it's really pretty so I was planning on making some mercury socks with these because they look amazing um, all the lacy kind of, they're kind of a lacy pair of socks but I was watching the Little Bobbins latest episode and she mentioned that she's hosting or co-hosting I think a knit along for a pair of socks called the love along socks and they look subtly laced as well and um, they look super pretty so these are kind of a valentine'sy kind of colours pretty pretty for some February socks for me and um, so that was another purchase I made and then Keeping it in the country, guys, I bought um, another skein um, of yarn from an Irish dyer called uh, Green Elephant Yarns, who is, um, uh, the dyer behind that is Fiona. So, the skein here of sock yarn, it, I'm not sure if the colour is going to show up great in this light. Here it is, beautiful kind of bright this is kind of an orange it's kind of showing up more pink in this and then this is kind of a denim -y kind of blue 
um, and kind of purpley pops and hot pink. It's going to be a really, really cool, bright pair of socks. I'm um, thinking kind of a Her Hermione everyday socks maybe for this. Um, I'm not too sure, but it's nice and squishy. It's a 75-25 merino nylon and it's the All Out of Love colorway. I'm not sure if I said that. And it's her four ply sock. So really nice and I really like it. And I bought from all the Irish tires. <laughs> so they're all the acquisitions that I have at the moment. So because I'm a relatively new knitter, I don't have a huge stash at all. Um, I kind of buy yarn based on what projects I want to knit. So um, projects that I want to knit in February um, are the Grocery Girls shawl cowl that's going on at the moment. Um, Hohi Locatelli designed a, a shawl for Tracy from Jodie, who is her sister. I'm not sure if you watched the Grocery Girls podcast. If you don't, you should, because they are amazing. The two sisters in Canada who uh, both knit, and uh, one gifted the other a shawl designed by Hohi Locatelli, um, and it's gorgeous. But it's a two-color shawl, um, fingering weight. Um, I do not have any fingering weight in my stash other than So, I need to get more yarn. Oh no! Um, so they're hosting a knit along at the moment. I think it's finished up in February. I'm not too bothered if I don't get to enter. I just really, really like the shawl. It's really, it, it like speaks to me hugely. It's like um, kind of striped and it has a lace section at the end. It's beautiful. So I'm thinking of doing that in Malabrigo sock. Um, the I saw, um, I think it's the Indesita colorway I have in my basket at the moment. It's kind of a green and purple kind of mix. And a then I was going to go with just a Cascade 220 fingering, or Cascade Solid I think it is, um, fingering waist just in a kind of deep rich purple. I think it's called Italian Plum maybe. I'm thinking of that. Um, I also want to knit the flax jumper um, by Tin Can Knits and that's a free pattern on Ravelry. I'm sorry if you heard that beep, that's just my Kindle. Um, so uh, yeah, so I want to knit that for my friend in work's son who will be two. Um, so a small little jumper before I move on to a jumper for myself um, or a sweater, sorry. As um, American people call it um, so yeah so I just kind of want to work on the shaping I knit a, um, the baby poonam for um, my cousin um, but it, it doesn't really have much shoulder shaping in it it's just quite square and you knit the front and knit the back and then sew them together um, so the I want to kind of do the flax because I think it has m more of a shoulder shaping in it so just to get used to doing that and um, learn some new techniques. So that's what I want to work on next. Um, also the socks that I have planned and I need to think of something to do with that DK way so really if you have any suggestions do let me know. Um, and yes that's my plan for February so far. I'm sure other things will come up because I want to cast on all the projects but uh, that's what I have at the moment. Um, I'm just going to take a quick break here because I just need to grab a drink because my throat is drying up. And I'm back. Um, so I think that's kind of all the nitty stuff. Um, for the Ravelry group, um, I'm sure it'll be probably called uh, Woolly Wolverine podcast. Um, I kind of just plan on having it similar to every other podcast group. Um, so I'll set up a introduction thread so if you all come in and say hello I would really really like to meet you all um, and then if you want to share what you're knitting on what you're working on and then as we get more into the podcast um, will there be some knit alongs and giveaways and 
I'm quite interested in starting to design. Um, so I'll be hosting knit alongs for any designs that are patterns that I write up. I haven't got any at the moment, but um, it is something that I'm interested in um, pursuing. So I'll have a questions and suggestions thread um, if and just episode threads for each kind of um, episode. Each, uh, different threads for each episode um, where you can leave comments and kind of answer any questions that I might have asked you. So this week's question is going to be any suggestions for what to do in the good patterns for a DK weight. Um, yeah, a DK weight uh, pattern um, for about 600... 800 meters that would be good for striping these three colors and um, that'd be great um any suggestions are very welcome um so yeah that's kind of it i suppose on the nitty stuff um kind of more chattery stuff so i work in dublin um and I commute up and down every day, so I spend a, a lot of time on public transport. Um, so I do take my knitting with me. Um, and yeah, generally people kind of don't really say much um, or comment on it at all. Uh, I generally have saw, well, Lately I've had sock projects and um, kind of the longer needles are kind of awkward because be hitting people in the face with your needles um, But it's uh, you know, I don't really get many comments about it um, My knitting time is quite limited. So I have them spaces on when I'm traveling to work and traveling home um, And then also when I get home then I'm quite tired so I generally put something on the telly and knit for a little while um, it's just it's so I don't really get that much knitting time I maybe two hours in an evening um, which is isn't great but it's the best I can get and it relaxes me and gets me set up to go to sleep and get ready for the day again tomorrow um, so this week has been pretty quiet um, I went into Dublin on my way home to pick up Dave a birthday present. It's on his birthday until the end of February, but I just wanted to pick him up something. Um, I'm not sure if he'll watch this, so I better not say what I got him, but it was only something small. I do need to get more stuff, but it's handy to get into town when he's not with me because I don't want him seeing what I got him. Um, so I did that uh, one of the days, um, got myself something to eat before I got home. Um, it's been pretty pretty quiet. Um, it's the weekend now, so Saturday, I don't really have many plans. I, I'll probably knit. Um, I'm pretty interested in sport, so I'll watch some sports and just relax, really. I. I spend a lot of time up and down and out of the house at, at the weekends when it is the weekend. I just like to sit back and relax and just spend time at home and spend time with Dave and just, yeah, just spend time knitting, which is what I really like to do. Um, so I think that's really all I have at the moment. Um, I'm hoping to make this a weekly um, podcast. Um, and as time goes on, I hope to get more comfortable and be more chatty and hopefully you guys have some feedback and suggestions and I'll have some lovely knits to show you and yarn and just Yeah, hopefully it'll be good and hopefully you enjoyed this. If you have any suggestions uh, Please leave the comments down below or you can go to the Ravelry group and uh, leave some comments there um, but I really hope that um, I, you enjoyed this and just catching up a bit with what I'm working on and yeah, see you again soon. Um, this is the Woolly Wolverine casting off for this week. Bye.